Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I rolled a cigarette with cigarette pack freshness foil, and now I'm going to be smoking it to keep my lungs fresh, which honestly I am very, very, very excited to do because I see no reason why if this foil keeps my cigarettes fresh for a pretty good amount of time, why it wouldn't keep my lungs fresh as well. And I'd be smoking a bunch of ciggies, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely do need to freshen up my lungs just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But some y'all might be wondering how I made this cigarette right here. Well, how I made it is pretty simple. Basically, what I did is I took foil like this right here, and I just cut a little slit in it with my knife and everything like that kind of thing, and then I just started peeling off the metal itself because I will admit, while the title of this video does say that I'm going to be smoking the cigarette pack freshness foil, I don't actually want to smoke the foil itself kind of thing. I don't actually want to smoke the metal. What I want to smoke is the white part underneath, you know what I'm saying, which is either linen or very paper-like linen, or it's just either linen or very cloth-like paper, <laughs> to say it correctly, you know what I'm saying. It's either linen or very cloth-like paper, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying. But wait, basically what I did is I just started peeling off the metal and everything like that kind of thing, which took me <laughs> about 45 minutes. I wouldn't recommend any of y'all try this at home because it took me so long to get all of the metal off. It was just such a pain. I got Play on a sale, but it's something I'm glad I did nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Because now I know how to actually do it and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And then after all the metal was off, I basically just took a gum wrapper from a top paper. I just put it on the side right here, let it just uh, glue down just a little bit kind of thing, and then I just put the paper or I put the cigarette pack freshness foil in my raw rolling machine, and I just rolled some Pharaoh's unfiltered tobacco inside the cigarette right here, you know what I'm saying? And now we're here, you know what I'm saying? Now we are here, and now I have a cigarette that was rolled with cigarette pack freshness foil all ready to go ahead and get lit up and go ahead and smoke, you know what I'm saying? Which honestly, of course, I am very, very, very excited to do. But before I get this cigarette all lit up, I want to go ahead and tell you guys my expectations for this experience real quick. Do I think it's going to taste good? Not really, I will admit. This is very cloth-like paper if it's not actually cloth, and... I'm not really expecting this to taste all that good. Is it going to burn good? Eh, I'm thinking it's probably going to burn somewhat good kind of thing. It is a little bit thick, don't get me wrong. So I am definitely expecting there to be a decent amount of ash, but it's very, it does have a paper-like tendency and it also has a cloth-like tendency kind of thing. So I'm kind of thinking this is probably going to burn at least somewhat well kind of thing, but definitely not the best that is for sure. And overall, I'm certainly not expecting it to be a particularly good experience. But I am very excited to try this cigarette right here that was rolled with cigarette pack foil. Nonetheless, just to go ahead and find out whether doing this is even possible or not. Because if it doesn't smoke, well, then I know it's not possible. And if it does smoke, well, at least then I know it is possible. And if it doesn't smoke very well, then at least I know I don't want to do it again. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get my lighter all out of my pocket and go ahead and get the cigarette that I rolled with cigarette pack freshness foil all lit up and go ahead and keep my lungs fresh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm saying I'm saying, let's go ahead and get this lit up. Well, right off the bat, it is burning. And right off the bat, the taste honestly wasn't too bad either. I certainly was not expecting this to really taste all that good kind of thing. It's a little bit thick kind of thing. But in all honesty, you can actually taste the tobacco a decent amount. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to taste the tobacco after we get past the halfway point, but right off the bat kind of thing, I can definitely taste the tobacco. Wow, I am actually impressed right now. It is definitely pretty rough, I ain't gonna lie. And we can see that all the ash is very, very, very black. I am actually pretty sure that this is actually cloth. I'm pretty sure I'm smoking a cloth cigarette right now, not a paper cigarette, which is pretty amusing because, well, the ash is not exactly very ashy kind of thing. It is very much black. And if I remember correctly, typically when cloth is burned, it typically goes black, not really br not really like gray ash like paper typically does and everything like that kind of thing. So I think the gray part on the inside that we can see is all the tobacco and then the black part on the outside is all the cloth and everything like that kind of thing. Very, very interesting, that is for sure. <sighs> but it is actually smoking. As we're getting deeper into the cigarette though, it definitely does not taste super good. It definitely does not taste super good. And I think it's smoking a lot better than I was thinking kind of thing. The taste is actually coming through really well. What? And I will admit, 
right now. My lungs are feeling fresher than ever. You know what I'm saying? They're feeling fresher than ever. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. But right off the bat, this is actually burning actually somewhat quickly as well. This is actually not burning super slowly kind of thing. I am actually very impressed. There's actually not too much tar coming through kind of thing. And I think the reason there's not really a lot of tar coming through in the smoke, the body itself is pretty small as well kind of thing. Granted, I haven't really taken a huge hit yet, don't get me wrong, but there's not really a lot of tar coming through. I think because this is not like paper kind of thing where it's not complete, completely sealed off. There's lots of tiny little holes for the smoke to escape through even though we can't see it. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's happening. You know what I'm saying? The body though, is actually pretty big. Maybe, maybe I spoke wrong. Maybe I spoke wrong. Maybe there's not actually a lot of little holes and everything like that kind of thing. Oh man. Wow. And this, I will admit, is getting me pretty buzzed as well. I am legitimately impressed. I am legitimately impressed. As said at the beginning of this video, I would not recommend any of y'all do this because it took me about 45 minutes to get all of the actual metal off and everything like that. But overall, if you're really in a pinch kind of thing, if you just have a cigarette pack and you have some tobacco, but no papers, no bowl, no nothing like that kind of thing, and you have 45 minutes to scrape all of the tobacco off and a knife, or all of the tobacco off, all of the metal off and everything like that kind of thing, this is actually not terrible. This is actually not terrible. I am actually very, very, very damn impressed right now. I ain't gonna lie. The taste right off the bat kind of thing, you actually get the tobacco taste coming to your mouth pretty well. Don't get me wrong, you do definitely get some other taste as well. Not really a paper-like taste per se, it's not really a cloth-like taste either, but it, it's not a bad taste. It's not a bad taste that is for sure kind of thing. You can definitely tell, you can definitely taste the foil itself kind of thing that was, that was of course used to roll the cigarette. You can of course taste it. But it's not a bad taste at all. It's not a chemically taste. It's not a super overwhelmingly really tarry taste kind of thing. It's just a taste, but it doesn't taste bad at all. And you can still taste the tobacco. And this is burning really evenly, not really all that much tar coming through at all. I am very impressed right now. I am very impressed right now. I ain't gonna lie. And I will admit, I certainly am feeling pretty good as well, you know what I'm saying? I certainly am a little bit buzzed, that is for sure. But overall, yeah, this is definitely keeping my lungs fresh, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely keeping my lungs fresh. This is a much more clean experience than I was expecting. Yeah, that's exactly the word that I was looking for to describe this smoking experience. It's a very clean experience. This, the, the paper or the linen or whatever you want to call it kind of thing is very clean tasting, very clean burning. The taste of the tobacco comes through really, really well kind of thing. It's very clean, tar-wise, and everything like that kind of thing. Wow. I am impressed. I am impressed. I'm so glad I tried this. This was worth the 45 minutes, minutes of hassle I got to play honest, y'all. Wow. I am impressed right now. I am impressed right now. Wow. Am I keeping my lungs fresh? Most certainly, most certainly. I'm most certainly keeping my lungs fresh, you know what I'm saying? I'd be smoking a lot of ciggies. I'd be needing to keep my lungs fresh. And I will admit, this certainly do be doing the job, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. As we're getting towards the end though, the taste is definitely not very good. The taste is definitely not very good as we get towards the end. There's still really not a lot of tar. I mean, like there is a lot of tar, don't get me wrong, but compared to some other things I've, I've rolled cigarettes with before, this is not really a lot of tar in all honesty kind of thing. But I do think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just ash it one more time. I'm gonna go and take the last hit of this cigarette right here and go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts. And then after that, I'm gonna go and end the video right there. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I didn't really get much on that last hit, but there's really not much left anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stub this out on the ground, go ahead and put the rest of the cigarette where I can actually see it so I can remember to throw it away after this video. But what are my final thoughts on this experience? How was rolling a cigarette with cigarette pack freshness foil and smoking it to keep my lungs fresh? Overall, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It was a super clean taste. I wasn't even sure at the beginning of this video if it was even going to smoke well at all kind of thing. And I can't remember if I said at the beginning of this video, but I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, I was like, there's no way this is gonna taste good kind of thing. There's no way, it's thick paper kind of thing. It's thick linen, it's thick paper, whatever you wanna call it kind of thing. It's, there's no way it's gonna taste good. It's got a different consistency than normal paper. Who knows if it's gonna smoke well kind of thing. 
And I was completely incorrect on both of those accounts. Not only did it smoke well, but it also tasted pretty good as well. Definitely not as good as a normal cigarette, don't get me wrong. But very, very, very impressive, I ain't gonna lie. Very, very, very impressive. I am very impressed with how this cigarette smoked. I'm honestly kind of at a loss for words. It smoked really, really, really well. And now, of course, I wouldn't recommend any of y'all try this at home kind of thing. It was a complete pain in the ass to get all of the metal off and everything like that kind of thing. We can see some of the white portions kind of poking through and everything like that kind of thing, but that doesn't even matter kind of thing. Trying to actually get it like peeled off and everything like that kind of thing is a complete pain in the ass. It took me about 45 minutes as said. I would not recommend it to anybody, but I am overall impressed. I am so glad I tried this experience. Wow. I am honestly, I'm, I'm honestly kind of at a loss for words. I really was not expecting it to be this good. And I will admit, I certainly did get a tad buzzed as well kind of thing. I certainly did get a tad buzzed as well. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this was a good experience. This was a good experience. You know what I'm saying? But as I said, something I would not recommend anybody ever try just simply because it was such a pain in the ass to actually get set up and everything like that kind of thing. But those are pretty much my final thoughts on this experience where I rolled a cigarette with, well, cigarette pack freshness foil. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? Go check them all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe. Excuse me and peace now have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying I'm saying and I will admit I am still so impressed by this experience. You know what I'm saying I am still so expressed impressed by this experience until the next one y'all stay safe and peace now have a great one Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying I'm saying